what is going on youtube uh guys we have a ton to talk about so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the first sonomy uh move that's going to be coming out in rogue demon now listen obviously we're on thunder because sonomy is not out yet Docky hasn't released now before we get into this i want to make this very crystal clear i pray i hope to god that this isn't true i was talking to one of the head moderators of rogue demon and he told me he said to me that they're not going to be they he said to me that before wind releases they want to make sure every wind uh wind move is done which is like i mean that's self-explanatory right i mean you're not going to release docky until docky's move set is complete but my worry is they don't release docky until the wind breathing move set is complete i don't know if um it's a misunderstanding but i would like to clarify that Docky's gonna get released when breathing gonna have one or one move and it's gonna gradually get more just like every other move set but we're gonna get into this and it's not only just when breathing's first skill you can see the infinity castle is right there and it's kind of strange so we're gonna go ahead and play this 20 second video so you can see the inside of the infinity castle that's insane that's a part of the sneak peek and then you can actually see the move here whirlwind cutter sonomy wind breathing first form so we could already tell off rip um it, it it seems to have an aoe so that it can hit multiple characters at once so that already changes it from shiver when i first saw it i was thinking yo that looks kind of like love breathing shiver uh kind of a little bit of a reskin but instead of talking i'm not going to cook them even though it might be similar moves because first off look at the vfx that's actually some pretty nice effects in my opinion the dust particles the animations everything is actually a lot better than you would imagine you actually see uh here shivers you kind of just you know it kind of reminds you a little bit of that ability where you just bend over uh but this one seems to hit multiple people uh, and you can also see so if you pay attention let's uh, go ahead and back up the screen so where he just now hits them so you can see the red okay and that's going to be how long they're going to be stunned for so you see the fling they get up pretty quickly so i don't think you can combo extend i could be wrong now when it comes to the infinity art castle this is where it gets a little bit complicated i don't know if they intend to make that the next map because that's going to be kind of weird like is it going to be flipping rotating i mean there's like basically in the infinity arc a bunch of floating structures and buildings so my question is how is that gonna work are they gonna be able to like is it they're just gonna fall and stuff like there's gonna be a ton of fall damage but um you know it's good to see the first wind breathing move completed that means that docky is done docky's done uh with regards to docky either they fix the ultimate uh from going under you or b they add an evasive, which I think should be probably like a ribbon glide M2, double the cooldown, womp, womp, womp. But, this is good news. Seeing this sneak means that we're about to have Docky uh, available for everybody pretty soon here. And uh, just the VFX alone, like I said, is actually pretty impressive. I'm actually pretty, like, I, they have to do well with uh, wind breathing. Sonami's a, a very hyped character and it's about time they get a new hashira uh, a new character out and just looking at it, it it's definitely impressive definitely some decent vfx here and i don't think that they sold the first move short um speaking of that we need to talk about some very critical things that need to come to rogue demon now i've said this several times i don't know if my voice will ever be heard but i'll continue to say it and uh hopefully that sort of you know starts the trickle effect so we have this map right if we go um here why don't i head to my youtube channel let me head to my youtube channel let me make it so you guys can see my youtube uh, my screen share give me one second guys so if we head here to my youtube channel you can see all of the map history so of, of rogue demon so if we go to what the oldest on the on the oldest videos 
so you can see there is a ton of maps I think this one was really nice I think this one was good this is the right one right yep and then this one is yep and then I would take as a finale I would take the latest map right so we go to latest and then we can see it here you guys feeling about my so if we head to this video right you can see the map this is our current map and then we head back to the channel you can see some of the older videos uh, hopefully we're not 1v1ing this entire time can we get some so yeah you can see this is the big tree map it was actually one of the most liked maps in the community um, super cool I liked the lake house that they had so I would take this map I would take the current map and lastly I would take this map right here the Mujin train map and obviously if you're gonna have the infinity arc castle you could probably take the infinity arc Mujin train and one of the other maps it should be probably a total of three maps maybe you could do four five six it doesn't really matter um, but take these maps and you put them in a, in a, in a vote rotation so like uh, let me see where I could uh, let me see where I could find it uh, give me one second get a little bit away from these people all right so if we head to okay where's that voting for maps black ops i'm pretty sure black ops freaking has it dude they all have them okay here it is so here it is 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 uh give me one second i don't want to get leak anything sensitive so let me just kind of just make sure that everything is cleared up here okay here we go so something like this now you can ignore raid you can ignore in encore you just can see how you can see like an overlay of what the map is it should be like that it should reset every 30 minutes in every public server in rogue demon so ever so basically after the 30 minutes is up right everybody's just kind of like everybody's resetting everybody just insta dies and they're able to vote they're able to vote which map they actually want to play on. I think this would be game changing. I think it'd be phenomenal. I think it would not only bring so much more engagement, so much more interest, and alleviate so much repetitivity and cure so much boredom. I think it's a very important piece that could be added. Also, listen very carefully. I'm going to keep saying it because you know if you want something done you keep saying it over and over until it gets done i don't think movesets should be paid i really really don't think they should be paid in terms of monetization like i said look add bro add animated grips you know what i mean like what if when you grip somebody instead of getting on top of them and uh i guess smashing their face in well you you decapitate them or kick their head off or kick them in the stomach and they fall over just or body slam anything just animated grips would be interesting to see and i think it would bring a lot of revenue uh the biggest thing that would bring revenue uh would be auras i don't know much about the clan titles but i know that if you use the same like sort of format so if we go to uh should be in here right and then uh is it in here clan titles so you can see kind of how like they're all common whatnot and you have all of these different options there would be legendary there would be epic there would be common uncommon rares uh auras so like there'd be like the sun breathing aura the stone breathing aura love aura love aura would be just a bunch of floating hearts obviously you would need a setting where you can disable auras to prevent lower end devices from struggling and causing performance issues but honestly i think the aura update alone would probably make more revenue than the paid move sets the biggest problem with the paid move sets anybody who's previously played rogue demon which the game has like 500 million visits 
So, like, that is a lot of people. And you have to understand that Rogue Demon peaked at, like, 60k. The majority of people who are interested in Demon Slayer games has uh, played a little bit of Rogue Demon at some point. So, they all have pretty much every moveset. And then, you know what I mean? Unless you're releasing characters that are going to be super hyped up and interesting, it's not going to be that really engaging for people to buy it. I don't think that he, IMED's making that much money from paid movesets as of right now. I don't think so. I don't think that Rogue Demon is getting that much new players, in, in my opinion. I don't think they're uh, getting that much new players. So, um, an easy fix would obviously be just to make them free again. I don't know why they were ever, you know, not in the first place. But, aside from all of that, I think the most important thing is that, you know, the, the community is um, being looked after. I think that polls and, and community suggestions, bro, I was looking in the suggestions channel. Actually, we'll do it on video. We'll do it on video. So give me one second, chat. Let's go to the suggestions tab. Bro. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay. Boom. Phenomenal. Look at the amount of active engagement that we have here. So let's go ahead and go through these. So we have let PS owners use specs. Um, why not make it a game pass? I mean, realistically, I think that'd kill two birds with one stone. I don't think that, you know, you would need some sort of miscommands or something to be able to access these, but miscommands aren't really, that's not included. So what if you had spec commands thousand robux 500 robux more monetization obviously uh this post is has to be satirical i don't know what the point of that is um mm, that's interesting make it so early access buyers don't have to buy the move set when it comes out since they already had it in early access um that's interesting that would mean that people that don't have it would still have to buy it with robux i'm not really sure add more features uh more features i agree give me your hot takes who needs a nerf who needs a buff uh realistically i think everything is semi it's well no i'm not going to say semi balanced because you have certain move sets that don't even have evasives but there's nothing that's too too powerful in my opinion but yeah there's just so many things fix your docky all huge flaw when you hide under it i'm not the only one uh move set mastery now we have stats to know kills with each move sets. Uh, I don't understand that. Uh, add five second fall damage resistance after being hit by beasting. Mobile only servers. Mobile only servers sounds actually very interesting. It reminds me of uh, something. Emotion changes and hatred him too. All right, I'm back. So, like I said, there is just so much here that the developers have to look forward you guys are constantly giving you know good engagement so i think it's important man that they pay attention to those things and things of that nature but with that being said thank you guys for watching this video make sure to drop a like comment subscribe let me know if i should go live on youtube i don't know maybe i love you guys peace